Good evening and uh, welcome to our office of Vespers or evening prayer. In this office, we are following in the footsteps of Christians for many centuries back. And even before that, the offices of the church, which are these little liturgies, are taken from the Jewish tradition. Way back in Psalm 119, which was at least written before 970 BC. That's nearly 3,000 years ago. He says, I will praise you, God, seven times a day. And praising God seven times a day became a custom of the Jewish people. Jesus did it. And these were appointed hours of the day, the third hour, the sixth hour, the ninth hour, and so on. Very often we miss that in the scriptures, but there are, Stories of Jesus are very often prefaced by it was the third hour and Jesus was in the temple. That's obviously because he was there to pray. Those prayers have, were carried on by the very early Christians and then Christianized by putting the doxology, the glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit on the end of the Psalms. So we're repeating today what our Lord knew quite intimately in his own language. In fact, the psalm that we use in the, this evening's office, this Thursday, is Psalm 143, or Psalm 144, which itself is a very long psalm and is split into two to take the place of two of the three psalms or canticles that we use every evening. So we come together to worship in that great tradition of offering this stream of prayer from mankind up to its creator. We start off Vespers with the usual recitation of the Angelus, again at the appointed hour of six o'clock. During Vespers, after the intercessions which are in the breviary, this book which is often carried by religious and priests, which contains all the offices of the day, we will light a candle and use the intercessions that we've been requested to make from those who phoned them or emailed them in people who are suffering or people who've asked for our prayers in the parish and beyond. And we'll light a candle for each one of those. At the end of Vespers, which ends with a little blessing, we will say one decade of the rosary. And being Thursday, it is the luminous mysteries. Today we'll consider and contemplate the baptism of Christ. When he was baptized in the Jordan by John the Baptist, and as he came up out of the water, the heavens opened and God was heard saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And that reminds us of our own baptism and our own duties which come with baptism. Finally, we will end with the evening anthem to Our Lady, the Regina Chaley. So we start with evening prayer, Vespers, and I'm going to use hymn 25 from the breviary. To him 27. Sorry, let's go around again. Him 27. Alleluia, sing to Jesus. Most of us know that off by heart, but there's only two verses of it in the breviary. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we'll commence with the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now 
and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is my stronghold and my saviour. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my saviour, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man, that you keep him in mind. Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is my stronghold and my saviour. Alleluia. Thanks be to God who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed harp. To you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free. You set him free from the evil sword. You rescued him from alien foes, whose mouths were filled with lies, whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons then flourish like saplings, grown tall and strong from their youth, our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind, our sheep increasing by thousands, myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with young. No ruined wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets. Happy the people with such blessings. Happy the people whose God is the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Thanks be to God who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Alleluia. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, that you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the de dread, dead to be judged. For rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great. Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his church have come. For the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they love not their lives each unto death. Rejoice then, O heaven, and you that dwell therein. Glory be to the Father, 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Alleluia. Christ himself, innocent though he was, died once for sins, died for the guilty, to lead us to God. In the body he was put to death, in the spirit he was raised to life. He has entered heaven and is at God's right hand, now that he has made the angels and the dominations and powers his subject. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. They saw the Lord. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the shepherd of the flock. I have come so that they may have life and have it in all its fullness. Alleluia. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servants, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and as it was in the beginning. I am the shepherd of the flock. I have come so that they may have life and have it in all its fullness. Alleluia. Let us pray to Christ who is our living hope of rising from the dead. King of glory, hear us. Lord Jesus, by shedding your blood and rising from death, you entered into your glory. Let us go with you into the presence of your Father. King of glory, hear us. You sent your disciples into the world their faith made strong by the resurrection. Grant that bishops and priests may be faithful ministers of your gospel. King of glory, hear us. Through your resurrection, you united the faithful in one hope and love. May we share in your ministry of peace and reconciliation. King of glory, hear us. Through your resurrection, you healed the cripple who begged at the entrance to the temple. Look with pity on the sick and display in them your glory. King of glory, hear us. You are the first to rise from the dead, the first of many brothers. Share your glory with those who have hoped in you. King of glory, hear us.
Now we pray for those who we've been requested to pray. We continue to pray for the recovery of Peter Hart. We continue to pray for Pete Kelly, still in intensive care unit, also for his wife Mary and their seven children. May the Lord help them through these difficult times. We pray for Sarah Henderson, who has a very painful and mystery illness that she will soon be diagnosed and towards going towards a cure. For all those others recently made known to us who are suffering from COVID-19. For Patrick Duffy. For Angie Chiarotti. For Farah Albert Beer. For Nick Sinnott, who remains in a critical condition. For Beryl Newell. We remember the families and the loved ones of all those suffering at this time, as well as those who care for them. These candles will be left burning here later into the night, which symbolizes our prayers continuing to go up to the Lord. We pray for those who have died, for, uh, for Bridget Na Nagel, whose anniversary of death occurs today. And those who have recently died, Janet Bowen, Octaviano D'Souza, for Elizabeth Mira, For Dorothy Smithers. For Tony Leon. For Christina O'Neill. Jackie Young. For Serge Arfat. We remember all those who are dying at this time. May they and their families and loved ones experience comfort and peace, the peace of the Holy Spirit. As we ponder on all those names and all those needs for prayer, let us join together in the prayer that our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you restore our human nature to a dignity higher than you gave it at creation. Look with favor on the mystery of your love. Keep your gifts of grace intact in those whose life you have renewed in baptism, the sacrament of new birth. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will now recite 
one decade of the Holy Rosary, the Luminous Mysteries, the Baptism of Christ. And let us ponder what our own baptism has done for us and for our responsibilities in that. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, especially those most in need of your mercy. Regina Cheli, Latare, Alleluia. Qui aque meru is deportare, Alleluia. <coughs> Resurrexit, sicut dixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum. Alleluia.